What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So I wanna talk about a few video game related things this week. Um, the main thing I wanna talk about and wanna focus on is Gunlord X. So why am I now talking about Gunlord X? This game came out on the PS4 and the Switch maybe what, a year or so ago. I just recently got a physical copy of that game for the Nintendo Switch. Um, as far as I know, that's the only system I know that it came out for physically, Gunlord X that is. Um, I initially found out about Gunlord at a retro game store when I got a Dreamcast copy. This was years ago. Um, this is a game that was NG Dev Team developed, so it was originally developed for the Neo Geo AES, I guess AES and MVS. Um, those copies go for, I'm sure, <laughs> look it up, they're in the thousand, thousand dollars, twelve hundred dollar range. Um, yeah. But anyway, this is a running gun shooter. I didn't like fall in love with this thing when it came out for the Dreamcast. It's, 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 to be honest, I didn't really fall in love with it or play the hell out of it till just recently on the Nintendo Switch after I got the physical copy, um, which is still sealed. I just am playing the download that I have. But anyway, I'm just weird like that when it comes to certain games. Um, yeah, this game has a lot of charm. I played it uh, just about every day after work for about two weeks. It took me about two weeks to finish every level. Um, you know, if I had tons of time to just sit down with this game, I'd be able to finish it really quick. But yeah, I dig. I dig the different uh, weapon types that you can get. Um, uh, just really quick, you know, the controls for this thing are, you know, you have a button that you can roll with. Um, you have your right um, shoulder stick or the right thumb stick. You can use to fire a beam to kind of... Uh, hit at any any different enemy in any different direction, but you only those are timed. And with that R stick and with the the rolling uh, mechanic, you know those are timed. And once that meter runs out, you're done. Um, the level that you're looking at right now is my favorite level. That's level two. It's a horizontal like, scrolling shooter level. Um, there's no power ups or bombs, but uh, it's got awesome sound effects on it. And it's got really awesome enemy bullet patterns. Um, there's another level that kind of is like this. It's a little bit different. It's a horizontally scrolling uh, level. It's level ten. Um, you can switch your weapon types just like you can in the regular run and gun or run and jump as I've heard this game called shooter segments um, And you can fire your gun in directionals in that that uh, that level 10 there It's like a semi twin stick shooter game kind of like scatter final mission or uh, Forgotten worlds if you guys ever played that game on the PC engine turbo CD or Sega Genesis Mega Drive I think there was actually a version of uh, Forgotten Worlds that actually came out on the original Master System, too. I could be wrong about that. Um, anyway, this is obviously my favorite level, the level you're looking at, level two. And let me look at that boss. <laughs> He's awesome. I just, I wish NG Dev Team would do a game, um, just expand upon this level two right here. But obviously, my two favorite levels are level two and level 10, right? There is 11 levels, 11 levels total, um, and there are extra bosses. You know, some of the, and this is directly off of the NG Dev Team. Uh, website there's enlarged levels four new boss enemies the jetpack level which is level 10 uh, new parallax scrolling segment stable uh, 60 fps and undocked and dock mode hd rumble 16.9 widescreen and direct control over the 360 snake with the r beam which we just talked about um, yeah I, I can't recommend this game enough and that physical copy i had to get this from an australian reseller because they weren't shipping to the united states at the time um, there's only, what, 2,500 of these things made, and there will be another 500 released, I think, in November or December, according to their website, and I do think they will be shipping to the U.S., so yeah, it's a, I, I spent 100 bucks on this game, so just throwing that out there. Um, it's going to be really hard to get. Um, I do recommend, if you want it, you know, go after the, one of those 500 that are going to be coming out in um, November or December, and that's going to be directly from the NG Dev Team's uh, website, but... Anyway, saw this at uh, Best Buy. This is Trails of Cold Steel for the uh, PlayStation 3. Trails of Cold Steel 3, 19 bucks, 18.99. See? You know, I looked on eBay. This is going for like $30, $40, $50. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And if you still need this game, snag it up. Next thing I'm going to show you guys is a game I got on eBay for $55. And that is Demon's Tear. And I guess this is an East Asia Soft. I guess this is a collector's edition. You know, anything that comes with the game and a soundtrack, to me, that's a collector's edition. That's really all I want in a collector's edition. An art book is cool, too. Or I guess anything extra other than any of that stuff would be pretty cool. But the main thing is actually having a physical copy of a game and having that uh, that CD soundtrack. Because I'll rip it using the YouTube videos, all that stuff. Um, yeah, I really dig the East Asia Soft stuff. Anyway, this was like, what, like 35 bucks from their website when it initially came out. And I saw the price kind of peak. And then there was a guy selling two copies for 60 bucks a piece. You know, I jumped at him with the uh, 55 and he uh, he jumped back with, uh, yeah, that's cool. So 
worked out for me. You know, I'm happy with paying uh, 55 for something like this. So what is this game? It's a basically it's an action RPG slash you know twin stick shooter. Um, and I've really been getting into twin stick shooters lately. You know, just having that uh, that left stick to kind of run around and having that right stick to kind of fire in any direction. I kind of dig that mechanic. Um, you know, a, a little bit different than a shoot 'em up, which is really what I normally play obviously uh, if you guys watch my channel but i'm like i said i'm digging these twin stick shooters and the fact that this thing's also an action rpg you can level up and there's different characters and i just kind of dig that look at that soundtrack um the graphics in this thing are absolutely awesome and i haven't played a ton of this game at this point um, but what i have played I, I really like and um like i said the guy had two of these they're 60 bucks a piece i don't know if that other one's still listed on ebay but you know, he, he jumps at 55, so, you know, if it's still up there, if any of you guys need it, 55 bucks, if it's still up, you know, I'd say go for it. Um, look, even a manual in here. How about that? Even a manual. God, I would, you know, this is great. <laughs> Can't ask for any more. I'm happy to pay 55 uh, for something like this, you know, from a reseller. Um, I hate buying from resellers, but when I have to, you know, some, a deal like this is, is, is pretty decent. But, you know, full-color manual. Um, you know, CD soundtrack, you got your little card that gives your limited edition number from, you know, what number it came out, but yeah, that's what you get with a uh, Demon's Tear from East Asia Soft for the PlayStation Vita. I did take a trip to the flea market this weekend, and what did I get at the flea market? Because I did get a game, and that game is Sagaya for the Sega Genesis, and that's what, uh, Darius, uh, Darius 2, I believe? Somebody commented that on one of my social media accounts, but like what I played of it so far, I've never seen this card only or complete in box for that matter anywhere, never at a convention, at least not that I remember. Um, so I, I paid 45 bucks for it. Happy to pay that at the flea market. Um, it probably goes for more than that on eBay, but yeah, that's what I got uh, this weekend on my trip to the flea market. The last thing that I want to talk about, guys, and this is huge, at least to me, um, because this is my favorite shooter ever coming to the Nintendo Switch, and that is that supposedly, from what I understand, Crimson Clover, a version of that game, I don't know if it's going to be World Ignition or what, but it, it's coming to the Nintendo Switch. Um, I was talking to somebody on Twitter, and uh, the person who I was talking to, they, they have one of the biggest shoot 'em up channels on YouTube, and uh, the person knows that I love Crimson Clover, and they said that, yeah, it's coming to the Switch, and as soon as they sent me that message... I'm online, and sure enough, there's a Nintendo Life article about it. I never saw that article. Um, I'll try to screenshot it and show it uh, in the video. But anyway, a version of Crimson Clover is coming to the Switch. Uh, I am so excited to play this the game on the Switch. Like, um, you know, hopefully they do a physical of it, right? But, you know, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. You know, hopefully it comes soon. But, uh, God, that's huge. This is, like, the biggest thing in video gaming to me, that Crimson Clover is coming to the Nintendo Switch. Is it coming to the PS4 too? I don't know. You know, I have no idea. But um, guys, if you haven't played this shooter, you know, play it. Um, go to dojengravity.com. There's free downloads of the original Dojin version. It has like the limiter shop and you have to earn your continues and stuff like that. Um, fun gameplay mechanics. Um, excellent shooter. If you guys like games like Dead on Pachi, um, it, it plays a lot like Dead on Pachi. It plays better than, than anything Cave's ever done, at least to me. Um, and I love cave stuff, you know, I'm just saying. I, I really love Crimson Clover, though. That break mode and that double break mode. Oh, my God. The way the screen lights up with all the... It's like a slot machine going off or something. But, yeah, anyways, guys, that's what's going on with me in gaming this week. I was happy to actually finish Gunlord X. Um, hard game, but, you know, it comes highly recommended, at least for me. And uh, so it is Crimson Clover. Like I said, this is my favorite shooter ever. I absolutely love this game. Anyways, guys, till next time. Peace out.